So in our previous video, we saw that how we can use the alerts uh, in your React Native app. And we also created a simple app in which I have demonstrated the use of alerts. In this video, we are going to learn how you can implement different kinds of buttons in alerts. By default, there will be only one button uh, when you use alerts and do not uh, define any external buttons but here in this video we can uh, we will be learning that how you can use uh, different kind of buttons provide different kind of buttons to the users so just create a project in react network and open it and visit studio code you can preview it on android simulator or ios simulator i've already opened the ios simulator and you can run the app by npm start so to demonstrate the use of alerts with buttons we are going to build a simple app in which i will be creating three uh, text input in which user will be entering the details like name age and gender and there will be one button when user press on that button uh, if uh, uh, alert will be asking to users that uh, are you show that you are willing to submit all the details that you have entered and if i press yes then all the details will be uh, displayed if i press no then no uh, details will not be printed on the screen so just let us just create variables for that name By default, it will be an empty string. Age. By default, it will be zero. And let's say gender. To use the uh, to provide the gender, um, the ideal way is to use the radio button, but we have not studied uh, that yet. So I'll be using text input for that. But in future, we'll be using radio buttons. So here are our three variables. Let us first import the text input this is self closing element since on, on change text we will be getting text we will be passing it to set name another for age Set gender. Thus, I have created the three text input. Let us just save it. You are not saying anything because we have not provided any styling. I have already created a style. Background color is pink. Padding is twenty, and margin top is also twenty. Let us just apply style property to it.
now as you can see uh, let us also add the placeholder so user can understand what he's supposed to enter name H and gender as you can see name age and gender now let us create a button title will be submit and let us create a text in which name age and gender of that person will be displayed okay so let us provide the unpressement so whenever user press on this button it will be calling a function let's name and press handler now let us define that function now we'll be using alerts so first of all we need to import the alert alert dot alert now first of all we provide the title of the alert box um, let's say uh, details then message are you sure you want to submit and then the button it will be in array so here you can list the buttons which you need to create in android usually uh, in android you can only uh, create only three buttons but in ios you can create as many as you want so first of all the text of the button which will be yes what happened when we press so detail will be already in these variables uh, when user start typing so we will be just uh, logging the detail on the console that user uh, press the button let's say yes is pressed second will be no so what happened when user press no when user press no we will be setting all these variables to the default uh, values so we will be creating another function for that let's say no handler let us create another function set name will be again empty string set age again will be zero set gender also again empty string okay so we have created the alerts uh, the heading is details and messages are you sure you want to submit when is the precious uh, we only logging 
on console that yes is pressed and when user press no then all these value will be uh, again to the defaults values so let's just save it and let me just toggle the keyboard okay so name let's abbreviate H. as you can see uh, as, as as i'm typing the detail are uh, displaying here gender so if i press submit you can see we will be we uh, we are getting two buttons earlier we on we only got one buttons because it was by default so when i pressed yes you can see yes is pressed uh, this uh, logs are from the previous okay so let me just again press yes so you can understand as you can see yes is pressed so let me just now click on the no when i click on no this detail will all uh, will be uh, will be their uh, default values again so when i press here zero as you can see the name and genders are interesting and the edge is zero so this is how you can uh, create a custom alerts in which you can provide uh, multiple buttons according to your needs so thanks for watching.